I'm Aditi Pai. I'm Assistant Professor of Biology uh, at Spelman. I earned my undergraduate degree in Environmental Science, Zoology and Chemistry in India. And then I got a Master's in Ecology. Uh, but when, I, when it came down to doing my PhD, I sort of specialized in evolutionary biology. And, uh, I didn't really know very much about Spelman College. The time I really got interested in Spelman was actually when I came here physically and uh, I was very impressed by what Spelman had to offer. The students here were really bright and uh, I liked uh, what Spelman was trying to do. So I think that's when I decided that Spelman was going to be my number one choice uh, for a faculty position. Given my own experiences as trying, you know, as a woman, trying to be a scientist, um, I had some obstacles in the way and when I came to Spelman one of the most appealing things to me was that this place was on the same page as I was when it came to you know the passion for training women to do well uh, in uh, do well in at large but especially in the sciences so I felt like I could fit in really well uh, at Spelman. Uh, I am an evolutionary biologist and I've uh, used uh, and I've done research in a couple of different areas. I'm interested in uh, looking at uh, mating behavior in tribolium beetles, and I've also looked at host parasite coevolution in tribolium beetles. Um, so overall, I'm interested in behavior and behavioral genetics, how behavior evolves, and how uh, the interaction between two entities like hosts and parasites, or males and females, evolves given their interactions with each other. Um, I teach um, biology and what I try to do to make it relevant and appealing to the students uh, for the times that they are living in is I find connections between what we're trying to find, do in class and you know what's going on in the world. So for example, I teach a, a, an advanced elective called Evolution in Action and believe it or not, I don't know what is going to be on the syllabus until you know uh, probably the day before classes start. And the reason why I do that is because I want to see what's going on in the world. Um, so my approach is, I look at what's going on in the world, and that's on the syllabus. So for example, evolution in action is about how um, there are lots of new diseases that are emerging in our society, and how uh, we can actually understand where these diseases come from, where they're going to go, you know, predict what's going to happen to the new disease, and how it should be tackled. So. For example, recently we've been concerned about swine flu, and that's that would be something that you know I might uh, include in my class. But the last time I was teaching it, it was uh, avian flu that you know we were really concerned about, and people in Atlanta were talking in particular about a story of a certain young man who had an extremely drug-resistant case of TB, and he went all over the world. So that was in the news and I try to use new stories to sort of encourage my students to inquire about concepts in biology. In your opinion, what would you say, and if you can like include this in your answer, <laughs> what would you say is the value of a Spelman education? For me, um, well, for me Spelman has been special for two reasons. Uh, the first one I think I told you is because I feel like uh, Spelman and I have uh, are on the same page. We both feel very strongly that women uh, need to be trained to be confident, to take charge and do well in the world outside. Uh, so I feel like Spelman special to me for that reason. Uh, and the second one is I feel like Spelman really um, uh, pours its resources uh, to you know train their students to get a quality product at the end. So I'm, uh, the way I see it, uh, Spelman really has very good faculty that push their students it has very good educational resources and careers. It's a very exciting time for biology department because we just uh, revamped our entire curriculum, uh, keeping in mind uh, what we want to do for our students. So, you know, we know we're living in a world that's changing really fast, and there's just incredible amounts of information generated uh, in this day and age, especially with regard to, you know, bio biology. So there's a lot of bioinformatics. Um, that's leading to this huge explosion of information in biology and we are concerned that as uh, students who, uh, you know, who go out in the world they're going to find that things have changed even within the four years that they were, they've been in college 
when they go out it's going to be a different world because there's going to be new information, more information and so our curriculum is actually uh, aimed at teaching them skills so we call it a skills based curriculum we teach them a lot of biology but we really try to emphasize skills, basic skills it's like how do you read it uh, you know, how do you find information, how do you read it so that you understand uh, which is relevant information, which is irrelevant information what is good information, what is bad information, you know, skills like how do you talk about science, how do you write about science, how do you actually do science. So I feel like that's the, uh, the direction our department is going in and I'm very excited to be able to tell you that as a representative of the biology department. I feel like our students are going to really benefit not just from all the biology that they're getting but also from all the skills that we're trying to you know, instill in them that are going to come in probably way more handy uh, when they leave Spelman for the next thing they're going to do.